What's up guys, welcome back to another Black Ops 4 Zombies video. In today's video I'm going to be going into Prestige 9 and going to my stats, leaderboards, challenges, all that stuff as per usual. So uh, this one is actually going to be pretty cool because look at that emblem. That emblem is so sick, it's of a dragon. I mean Game of Thrones just ended. Not thrilled about the ending for that. Uh, you guys can let me know what you guys thought about that in the comments down below. But I mean, whew, House Targaryen for life, baby. But, uh, yeah, that dragon, dude, that, that's going to be sick. And I think I'm actually going to rock that emblem once I do reach uh, Master Prestige. Because I'm not exactly sure what the Prestige Master like icon looks like for zombies in this game. But so far, that is my favorite emblem. So, let's start out with my stats. I played for 4 days, 19 hours, 17 minutes, and 44 seconds. With a grand total of 144,323 kills. 131,628 coming from Classic. 12,695 from Rush. 60,202 headshots with 56,226 coming from Classic and 3,976 coming from Rush. So I played a grand total of 108 games. I got to round 100 on Classified, 45 on Blood of the Dead, and I believe Ancient Evil is a new one. Uh, I believe that was like 9 or Voyager of Despair before. I think it was 9. But now Ancient Evil got bumped up into my top 3 with uh, round 34. So I've been going for high rounds really lately. Like lately, the past, I would say... Maybe like two or so months, two and a half months. I've been basically like no zombies at all. Like zombies has been really slow. As you guys can see on my channel, I haven't been posting a lot of zombies content. Um, that also kind of reflects it here as like how long it has taken me and all this stuff. So I promise I want to get back into zombies soon. And I will try and do a 24 hour, well, I don't know if it'll be a 24 hour stream. But uh, uh, a stream to get to around 150 on classified to get the Easter egg. Which I'm sure it's probably going to take, you know, like... 10 15 plus hours to get there so who knows it might actually be like a 24 hour stream but that should be pretty cool though i have 285 total revives i played 18 games of rush with uh 2.9 million still my top on blood of the dead uh, classified at 1.5 million and then i know i got uh voyage of despair up to 1.2 million this prestige so that is a, a new record for me for voyage and i have five first place finishes like i said 18 games of rush so i've been playing rush a little bit more because there are uh, two Dark Ops challenges related to Rush. One of them is getting like, I want to say it's like 50 million total points in Rush. And then the other one is getting a couple hundred like defense things on Voyage of Despair Rush. So ultimately, the best thing you can do is to play Voyage of Despair Rush if you want to get both those challenges. But every now and again, I get tired of Voyage of Despair and I want to play a different map. So that's why I'll play like Classified or Blood of the Dead on occasion. But yeah, all right. Now if we go into my stats here, uh, it says here I have 158,546 kills, 65,353 headshots, 3,226 rounds survived, 340 revives, and 1,214 doors purchased. So, of course that puts me uh, well above Harrison and Lathan. Whew. Way above. Wow, that's, uh, that's kind of crazy. But that is the only leaderboard we have. So... Uh, for challenges, I'm 70% of the way through all these total ones. So I actually finished up this one. Uh, I think it was my final game before I was able to prestige. So that's pretty cool. And my last one was, I think, this one. The buy all four perk vapors and 100 matches. So I don't know if Rush counts for it. But if it doesn't, then that means that there's only eight games I've played where I haven't gotten four perk vapors. But if it does, then it means that there was 26 games where I haven't, between Rush and Classic, where I haven't gotten all four perk vapors. But that one took a little while, but uh, that challenge is done, so now I can focus on some of these other ones in here. Uh, like this one, I need to revive players with the Scepters. I need to play more Chaos maps, um, and even like Rush and stuff, and just like public matches, or even with bots or whatever, you know, just do stuff like that. Um, and then same thing goes for these ones. You need to play just a little bit more. I made some progress on these. That one should be done uh, basically in no time at all. This one's going to take a long time. I'm not exactly sure how like, I can really speed that up. But then this one, once again, that one's going to be done real quick in 170 kills. So that is it for uh, the Zombie Expert ones for Zombies Toolkit. Uh, and then uh, I've been going on some of these ones. I mean, I'm only 29th in Zumbo Elixir's Way, which is kind of crazy because we, I think we only ever opened up the, like our uh what is it called the the liquid not liquid divinium it's um what it, what the heck is this stuff called napoleon plasma that's it we only re uh, opened that stuff up recently so uh it's kind of crazy that we're already up to 71 but hey just 29 more we'll be done with that challenge i still need to do uh, aftertaste start using some of this getting that up there because i haven't even made any progress on that 
Just need to do seven more, so I just basically need to play, you know, seven more matches with another player. And then uh, I need to do this 11 more times to get up to tier two. Well, technically through tier three, but complete tier two. Um, this one, once again, just need to do this in like public match or something like that. And then talismans. This one's going to take a lot longer because talismans, like if we go into my class, I'm not sure how many talismans I have. Like right here, I have like what? Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26. Okay, so I mean I do have like a decent amount. And I'm not sure what that challenge goes up to. But at the same time, I'm like, I want to get a little bit more before I start using those. But that uh, this one, 50%, I think that's my lowest one, right? It's, yeah, same with that prestigious, but... Yeah, so then uh, we got equipment in here, so I just need to use more shotguns. Halfway, well, 59% of the way through that, so that's not bad. Snipers, about halfway with that. And then tactical rifles, I just literally need like 581 kills with tactical rifles, and I'll have that challenge done, so super easy there. And then this one, I just need to use some more operator mods and stuff. Dude, I swear, we haven't had a double weapon XP weekend in, like, months. So, it's been ridiculous. Like, I haven't had a double weapon XP weekend to be able to, like, rank up my zombies weapons. So, that way I can start finally using the operator mods. So, that kind of sucks. But I started using the PhD slider again. Got some more progress towards this challenge. But, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be making more progress on these challenges here real soon. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah. So, that is, uh, those are all my challenges. And uh, one thing I do want to show you guys, uh, we'll just do that after, after we prestige. So, yeah, um, I'm not sure if this happened this prestige or last, but I ended up getting the Titan Gold, which is my very first uh, gold weapon in Zombies. And I'm working on some of these other ones in here too. So, ICR, I'm getting there with this. And uh, same thing with the Vapor. I'm, uh, I'm pretty close on the Vapor, I believe. Yep. So just a little bit more on some of these weapons, but there was a huge awesome update that came out not too long ago where Turek changed it. So certain weapons that are like mystery box only ones now only require half as many challenges. So this one used to be 3,600 headshots. Now it's down to 1,800. And then for like these challenges, these are all halved as well. So it's not just the headshots that are halved. Um, let's see. Do we have a weapon in here that I am close on that is a box only weapon? Uh, what's a box? A swordfish, I believe, is a box. Dang it. ABR, I know, is one. Dang it. I'm not through that yet, but, um, gosh dang it. What is a box-only weapon? Here we go. All right. Hades is a prime example of this. So, this used to be 3,600 headshots, because if we look at the Titan, it took 3,600 headshots. This used to be 10 uh, mini boss zombie kills for the Hades, and now on here, it's only five. So, all these challenges got halved as well, so that's really cool, and it makes going for, uh, Camos like gold, diamond, and dark matter so much easier. So I'll be uh, trying to get some of those uh, pretty quickly here soon as well. But for uh, the, uh, the tactical rifles, I'm actually making a decent progress. Not on the swordfish, but uh, the Essex, I'm almost done with the headshots for this. You know, I just need like 1,300 more headshots with it, which is basically like a third of what I have already, kind of. So ABR, i so freaking close, dude. Like 300 headshots, and then I'll need to do those. And then the auger, dude. I'm just like 700 headshots, six, 700 headshots away. And so tactical rifles will be really easy to do for the LMGs. I already have one of these done. The Hades, I'm getting there pretty close. I just need to do those final ones. VKM, I'm getting there. This was another box only weapon, so that got halved as well. And same with the Zohander as well. So cool stuff all around there. But uh, I guess we can go ahead and uh, prestige. So. Here we go. Let's do this. Prestige 9. Look at that emblem, dude. So cool. We get the new icon, new permanent unlock token, 1,000 Nebolian Plasma, and that dope calling card. So let's freaking do it, dude. Let's go. It's going to be so sick. Congratulations. You are now Prestige 9. Let's go. All right. Ooh, what's that? Okay, that next one looks kind of like... Um, was that the World... No, that was like the COD 4 Prestige 10 uh, multiplayer one. That was, was kind of cool, but... All right, what should we permanently unlock? So we have literally permanently unlocked the top four items. Next up is like the Kashka or the Mog. Is there any other items I'd rather do in the meantime? Well, PhD Slider, I could work on that challenge. That's tempting. Hmm. Or I could do like the Kashka. 
because I don't think I showed you guys some of the snipers, but I started working on some of the snipers as well. So, like, the Outlaw, I'm getting here. I'm getting pretty close to the Outlaw. But I like the Kashka, man. Whew. Yeah. Um, yeah, what should I permanently unlock, dude? That is a really good question. I think I might go for... Ah, uh, shoot. Because I could do the PhD slider, but then again, it's only unlocked at 42. So you know what? We're going to go with the Kashka. All right. Cool, cool. So now we can use the Kashka and the Kashka Mark II as well. So that's pretty sick. And yeah. All right. Just need uh, 2,400 headshots. Outlaws getting there. Outlaws almost done, dude. That one shouldn't be uh, too much longer. It's going to be like a lot of these tactical rifles and stuff as well. So that is pretty much that. Now, lastly, let's go over the calling cards. So zombies... They added in uh, another new gauntlet, so they did, uh, let's see here, we got, I still need to do gold on unsinkable, silver on unsinkable, gold in uh, nine, gold in uh, blood of the dead, silver in blood of the dead, gold in uh, dead of the night, same with silver, and yeah, so eventually we're going to get the ancient evil one as well, but uh, let's take a look at the prestige ones, so, prestige one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, we're gonna have ten. So all we have left for Black Ops Four Zombies is we gotta get to all the way to Prestige Ten. So we gotta do another fifty-five levels, and then we gotta get from ten to fifty-five before we hit Mass Prestige. So we need a hundred and ten levels in Zombies before we reach Prestige Master, and then from there. I think is when I'm going to start uh, trying to do the round 150 on classified because if we were to do that, we'd get more XP than a prestige. So if I try to do that like right now, I'd be maxed out at prestige 10 and just be losing out on like hundreds of thousands of XP and leaving them just on the table, which, uh, you know, there's no point if, you know, you can help it. So I'll uh, just try and bust out these last two prestiges, I guess, uh, real quick. And uh, then we'll be prestige master here real soon. So I'm hoping that uh, sometime... Within June, I know I said I wanted to do it by the end of April. That didn't end up happening. And I thought, oh yeah, for sure in May. But in May, I've been busy. I spent a lot of time with family and doing other things and stuff. Haven't been playing as many games. So I think that uh, we might be able to hit Prestige 10 by the time May ends. But I think Prestige Master will probably end up being sometime in June. So that would be pretty cool, guys. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Black Ops 4 Zombies in the comments down below. DLC 3 should be coming up here real, real soon. And it's going to be an Aether map, so that will be really cool. And, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy Black Ops 4 Zombies videos, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And uh, just let me know all your thoughts on this in the comments down below. What ranks and stuff for you guys? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.